Yeah. Yeah, so my dad says I should tell you guys how excited I am that we're having a busy weekend. Um, I came to my dad's house today and um, he made this really good pasta dish. I like chicken in it and spinach and pasta and tomato sauce and Greek yogurt combined, and Parmesan cheese and peppers. It was so good. It was really good. What's it called? It's supposed to have shrimp in it. It's just pasta penne. It's called pasta penne, but he put chicken in it instead of shrimp. It was some recipe he found on uh, Pinterest. Um, then we watched a bunch of episodes of The Sopranos. Um, this weekend, I'm seeing Modest Mouse tomorrow at like Stanford University student concert. For their student concert, they get four bands, and Modest Mouse is the headlining act. For my student concert, we got Shitty Bang. <laughs> I don't even know who they are, but apparently they're like really indie or something. Oh, there's my cats. My cats are making so many cute sounds tonight. They keep staring at me. Henry is sniffing some spot, and Sim just ran away. <laughs> and, um, and then on Sunday, we're going to the Maker Fair. I got a student, <laughs> student discount on my ticket. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's going to be a really all day thing. I forgot to tell you that I forgot my camera. <laughs> Oh no. That's okay because I always feel really stressed out if I make her fair when I have to take pictures. Well, you take pictures with your camera and your phone, and it's a pretty good camera with that phone. Yeah, my phone has a really good camera. So I'll probably do that if I want to photograph something really amazing. But I've taken pictures of the Maker Fair for like three years now, and it, it's always kind of stressful because it's really, really crowded, and I just kind of want to look at everything, like touch it and stuff. <laughs> It'll be hard. I don't want to spend money for a couple of months because I spent so much on a Larry Cohen ticket. It's going to be really hard to not spend money at the Maker Fair. <laughs> they always sell so many cool things. Well, like you can see your second cousin, Diane, too. Oh, we're going with Diane? Yeah. Oh, cool. So I got to see the second cousin that um, we didn't really meet until this year or something, right? A couple years. A couple years ago. She lives in the Bay Area. She's really cool. Why didn't we meet her before? I don't remember. Well, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah, I've been in touch with her for years. You just didn't meet her until the first time until last year. Yeah, the rest of the family didn't meet her until last year for some reason. I don't really know why. Because the family is weird. Because our family is really weird and doesn't like to keep in touch with relatives, I guess. Even though they write to that guy in Chicago, Uncle Tom, all the time. <laughs> yeah. That's just green tea. Anyway. So, oh, I've been drinking so much green tea lately. I drink like three cups a day. I'm probably going to finish the whole bottle tonight. I love green tea. Um, oh man, we got these really good apples at Trader Joe's too. Gala apples, or is that what they're yeah. called? So big, so big. Um, and my dad showed me how to um, install this app on my phone that gives it like a really, really cool theme. Um, I don't know if anybody else has an Android, but if you do, I'll uh, tell you what it's called. Um, Oh man, and when we were watching The Sopranos, I came up with this theory that... Oh, the video's freezing. I came up with this theory that um, your favorite Sopranos character says a lot about who you are. Because my grandmother likes this character that's a lot like her. And so my favorite character is the psychiatrist. I don't think any of you guys ever watch The Sopranos. I think I've asked you before, before, but if you do, you should say who your favorite character is. Because I also really like Polly Walnuts and Meadow. <laughs> so, it probably says a lot about who I am, <laughs> but the psychiatrist is definitely the best. She's one of the main characters, besides Tony. I don't know why I'm talking about this so much, because you guys don't watch The Sopranos at all. <laughs> I watched um, a lot of Simpsons episodes today, too, because uh, Ian's texts have gotten me in the mood for that. Um, he texted me today. Um, <laughs> Attention families, this is Mother Goose. The following cars have been broken into, <laughs> which is from the episode where they go to the this fairy tale theme park for Maggie. <laughs> That's the announcement that comes over the loudspeakers. Um, before that, he texted me, the cosmic ballet continues, which is what Leonard Nimoy says in the episode where the monorail is going and a solar eclipse happens and it's solar powered, so it stops. And that's what Leonard Nimoy says. And the guy next to him says, can I get a different seat? <laughs> and of course, like 10 seconds later, the solar eclipse ends and the train keeps going. 
Um, which segues into the fact that there's a solar eclipse on Sunday, which I'm really excited for, but kind of bummed because, yeah, they said on the news that, aw, kitty, he's so fuzzy. They said on the news, put the cat in front of the camera. <laughs> Look at the cat. He's so cute. Um, they said on the news, aw, he's clinging to the couch. She's so sweet. Ooh, little kitty. They said on the news that you have to go at least as far north as Chico to see the entire thing, but we can see part of it down around Sacramento, but I'll be in San Mateo, so I don't know what that means. But it's only the second solar eclipse to be above California in like a really long time. I forget how many years. More than 10 years. Look at the kitty. He's so black and fuzzy. He's been meowing all night long. <laughs> my cats always forget who I am, but then they remember, and they start rubbing all over my legs. Oh, it's so beautiful, they're so big. I wish you guys could see them. But I'm gonna end that now. Because that's about all I had to talk about today. See ya.